Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make some very simple and very delicious sourdough pancakes. Sourdough pancakes are one of my favorite things to make with the discarded sourdough starter or extra sourdough starter. I feed my sourdough starter every morning and every evening so I'm always pouring some out before I add new flour and water and what I usually do is just each time dump it in a bowl and either keep it on the counter or in the refrigerator and we make pancakes every couple days. You can make this recipe with either colder sourdough starter that's been sitting in your refrigerator for a little bit or it can be a sourdough starter that's warm and active and live and bubbly. I like doing it with the live active bubbly sourdough starter because the recipe is the most simple that way. They have a delicious sour flavor, nice fluffy texture, really good. To make it this way, all that you need to do is add a few eggs. I think that I probably have about three cups of sourdough starter here. So I'm gonna add two eggs to this. The amount of eggs for the amount of sourdough starter that you have is not an exact science. Usually about one egg per cup of sourdough starter is a good ratio, but it's not exact. You can vary that quite a bit and they'll st still turn out great. The other thing that I like to add when I make it this very simple way with the more active sourdough discard is to add half a teaspoon of salt for this same amount of two to three cups of sourdough starter. And then that's it. You can actually add more eggs on top of that if you're wanting to have more of a, a heartier, like egg rich breakfast, you can add quite a lot of eggs. But for the nicest texture, you know, about one egg per cup or per two cups. So then with the sourdough starter, eggs and salt, I'm just gonna mix this together as best I can with one hand here. If you're wanting really exact measurements, there'll be a link below where I'll have a printable recipe card that'll have exact measurements for you to follow if you're that type of a person who likes that. Okay, and then that's it, we're ready to go. You can add a few more things. If it was more cold sourdough starter that had been in the refrigerator for a few days, then I also like to sometimes add half a teaspoon of baking soda. You could also do baking powder. Either of those will work. Baking soda is usually what I use. That's what's in the Nourishing Traditions pancake recipe, so that's just what I go to. You can also add a couple tablespoons of some melted fat. You could do melted butter, melted lard, bacon grease, those kind of things. I usually don't add that. I just usually keep it really simple and then we cook them in some fat like lard, bacon grease, butter, and then eat them with lots of butter. So I feel like we have our fat bases covered. But as far as them turning out, this is really simple and it turns out great. So let's start cooking some. So I have my cast iron skillet here over medium heat and I have my nice little ladle. I found this I think at Walmart years ago just in their silverware section. It's the perfect size for making pancakes. And then as soon as this comes to temperature where I'll see the butter start to bubble but not so hot that it's burning, then I'll start ladling them in. Okay, I think this looks good so we'll start ladling some in. I usually start with the cast iron skillet on about medium high heat. Oops, that's what I get for doing this with my left hand. And then as it heats up, I find that I gradually need to turn it down to medium. And then I'll usually turn it down again to just below, like medium low, just below medium. And then we'll let these cook. I like to look for the bubbles kind of rising up and then popping and then after the bubbles are popped I know that it's time to flip them. Okay at this point it's looking really good. I can see that there's bubbles that have rised up and popped so the middle of the pancake is starting to get pretty cooked so this is a good time to go ahead and flip them. I 
and then I just let them go on the other side until the other side is cooked. Usually takes a bit less time than the first side took. These smell so good when they're cooking. Okay, that's probably good, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking them off onto a plate. And there you have it, super easy, so delicious. We like to serve them with a whole bunch of melted butter, sometimes some maple syrup, or we'll make some, like a cooked fruit topping or something. So good. They're great for breakfast, good for snacks. You can get creative and use them for making sandwiches. Really nice thing to have on hand. And you can see that with this recipe with just the eggs and a little bit of salt, since it was a very well established sourdough starter, and that it had been out on the counter without going into the refrigerator at all. It's got a, a nice rise to it. They're nice and fluffy. And you know, you don't need to add any extra leavening, nothing else, and they're great. But like I said, if you want to, you can add some melted fat. You can add a dash of milk. You can add a little bit of baking soda or baking powder if you're using colder starter. There's a lot of different things you can do, but this is the basic recipe that I use all the time. I have lots of other sourdough recipes on my channel. I'll link some of them below. I show you how to make your own sourdough starter from scratch. I show you how to make some sourdough bread, hamburger buns, pasta, tortillas. Be sure and leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite thing to eat on top of pancakes. Down in the description box, I'll have a link to Ooh. where I like to buy organic flour for making the different baked goods that I like to make and to feed my sourdough starter. Also check out that description box for some free eBooks and some other goodies. Also, like I said, there'll be a link below to the printable recipe card if you wanna grab that with the specific <laughs> measurements and all the different variations that I talked about. Okay, I hope that you liked seeing how easy it is to make these really delicious sourdough discard pancakes. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else you think would like to see how to make their own sourdough pancakes at home. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient-dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.